In order to build a gable roof such as this one in the shop here on this half of the building to a specific pitch, the length of the rafter needs to be calculated. In this video I'll show you what's involved in terminology and concept and I'll show you in two separate videos two different calculations. One using the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equals c square and the second video will calculate the length of the roof rafter, the common rafter using slope gain factor. I'm going to have both calculations, one in metric, one in inches for both videos. So four ways for two calculations. So let's have a look at the terminology here, what's involved. This one is the common rafter. That's a roof ridge. This is the overhang on the rafter's tail. You don't have to have a ridge. You can have a gusset plate, such as this one here. These two rafters don't meet at a ridge. They are held together with this gusset plate, like so. Either which way, the roof has a pitch which is expressed as a fraction, either in millimeters or in inches. And the fraction has two numbers in it, a numerator and a denominator. So a vertical measurement is first, always a vertical measurement is first. This could be, I don't know, seven or six, something, an easy whole number, whatever. And a horizontal number is also a sensible one, typically 12 when it comes to inches. These two numbers can be visualized somewhat like this. This doesn't fit the roof precisely, but that's not the point of that tool. But I'm just illustrating the point that numerator is a vertical measurement here. And the denominator on this roof pitch would be the horizontal number here. So either this way, this one, this roof pitch here is a 712 roof pitch so it's a this tool doesn't quite fit it seven inches down and 12 inches horizontally or or this way either which way is good it's the same it's a right this fraction is conceptualized as parts of a right angle triangle the vertical number is the is referred to as rise and the horizontal number is referred to as run Okay, so it's 7 over 12 if it's in inches or 150 over 250 if it's millimeters or 200 over 250 or similar numbers, round numbers, easy numbers, not, not 4.5 or not 117.2 or no, no, no decimal numbers, easy, relatively easy numbers. So, let's rise and let's run off the roof pitch. Similar triangles are involved in this roof here. The roof's rise and run is similar to the rafter tail's rise and its run and is similar to the whole roof rafter's rise and run. Okay, triangles are similar in this. Besides the roof pitch that you need, besides this fraction, you need two other numbers. The rafter tails overhang by, by the amount this overhangs the building. In this case, it just so happens that it is four inches precisely. And it looks like it's convenient to measure it here at the very end of the rafter's tail, but it's measured here. You are not equivalent, sorry, your similar triangle runs here from this corner of the building down to only here and comes across horizontally here to this point, not this point, this point here. So you're there. So your hypotenuse runs precisely here. Why there and why not 
why not here is because from here to here oh it's a triangle all right but it's not similar to the roof pitches triangle it's a weird thing but get used to it so the similar triangle that's similar to say a 712 triangle runs from here down to whatever amount and horizontally across to about this point and the hypotenuse of this triangle runs somewhere here just roughly that I marked with a felt pen or mark pen or what is it marker critical in this concept is this point on the roof which is the building's corner obviously and on this building it's not sheathed there can be an OSB or a plywood on this building if there is one then that corner point here comes out to wherever the sheathing actually ends from that point wherever the sheathing ends if there is one on the building there should be all the way across is the building's span in this case it ends here but again if there's sheathing on the building as there should be it should be somewhere here so half the span of the building is here and this is the run of the rafter just like on the roof's pitch there is a run of the pitch and there is a run on the rafter tail this is the run of the rafter you really need this number it's, it's not negotiable for calculation this part of the right angle triangle could be side a for using the Pythagorean theorem a square so that's side a here side b would be the rise of the rafter going vertically up from this midpoint here half the span of the building vertically up to the ridge if there is one and like I said you don't have to have one but it doesn't come just anywhere it doesn't come here it doesn't come here the rise of the roof doesn't end at any other point it ends precisely here I'll explain why here in just a sec but it looks like you could extend the top of the rafter here and the top of the rafter here and these two lines meet mid-air somewhere here above the ridge and it stands to reason that hey that is a logical point to start the rise of the roof at mm, very simply nope the rise of the roof that comes to about this point because that's where triangle similarity dictates that the roof should rise to so the rise of the roof is somewhere on the ridge board if there's a ridge board if these two rafters come and meet each other it's right in between them somewhere there so the hypotenuse of your rafter triangle that's marked by this dashed line runs somewhere not entirely in the middle of the roof rafter somewhere kind of closer to the underside of the roof rafter and is dictated by this point here this is where it must start and is dictated by triangle similarity this roof pitch triangle must be similar to the roof rafters triangle and triangle similarity dictates that the roof be rising to that point precisely and not anywhere else below or above or whatever now in terms of right angle triangles it is conceivable that a right angle can be drawn from this point to say this point and then have a hypotenuse crisscrossing this piece of wood and coming out to this point it's a right angle triangle all right but it's not similar to the pitch triangle of the roof likewise the roof can rise to this point here above the ridge board where these two lines 
the tops of the rafters meet and from there a hypotenuse can be drawn to this corner it it can be but it's not a similar triangle to the pitch of the roof okay so to calculate the rafters length accurately to a specific pitch the hypotenuse of the rafter must run as it is drawn out here from this point somewhere maybe maybe not one third two thirds but something like that closer to the bottom of the roof rafter all the way up to this point this point here on the ridge that's the rise of the roof nowhere else okay so that's what's involved in terms of terminology i know it's a it's a little bit involved but it is what it is so key numbers again rafter tail overhang buildings span or half the span of the building and you need the roofs pitch okay so let's go into class 